The Magi market has come to a close in Palea, but so much new content has taken its place. Let's take a deep dive into all of the changes made with Palea's most recent update. There are new premium outfits that are so cute. We've got four new outfit bundles, the smoking jacket, the sylph, folk flowers, and everyday flair. I have to say, I'm really impressed with these new outfits. This is the first time since the game launched that I actually want to get every single outfit. Which one is your favorite? Personally, I can't decide if I want to get the sylph outfit or the smoking jacket first. Or if you can't decide, grab them all with PayPal. This new update now features PayPal support to make purchasing even easier. The Grimalkin Underground has gotten a complete overhaul and it looks gorgeous. Reth now has a speakeasy under the general store next to Zeki's Black Market storefront. There have been a ton of quality of life changes and improvements made this patch. The devs have added yet another new emote for us, kneeling. And to further impress those role players, we can now turn the water on in our tubs. Time to kick back and take a relaxing bath after a grueling day of baking cakes. Yup, you heard that right. It's time to discuss the most talked about change coming to Palea. Have cake parties been nerfed into oblivion? Let's talk about it. The devs have previously affirmed that they like cake parties and don't want to discourage us as a community from getting together to bake. However, they said that the gold acquired from said parties is overpowered and they want to find a way to balance all of the skills so that we can earn a relatively similar amount of gold from things like foraging, fishing, mining, etc. in addition to cooking. So... To make the celebration cakes less profitable, they needed to basically overhaul a ton of cooking recipes and focus resources. The recipe now calls for sugar, which can be purchased from Zeki's general store. The other ingredients required from Zeki have also undergone pricing reworks, with butter and milk both going down in price. These changes have lowered the sell price of cakes by about 40%. Now you might be asking, but I put all of my cakes into glowworm farms anyways, so my profits won't change, right? Unfortunately, that's not the case. Worm farms and glowworm farms have also been balanced to produce less from cooked dishes, and while Speedy Grow Fertilizer sells for less, it is twice as abundant as it was before. All in all, I think the changes are positive. There's still so much gold to be made from cake parties, and now it should theoretically be easier to make gold if you'd prefer to stay solo and grind your other skills in-game. The one thing I would like to see soon in relation to the Paleon economy is the gold cap. 300k is way too small of a limit, especially considering how expensive some late-game items like buildings and black market furniture can be. I'd like to see the gold cap raised, honestly, to probably more like a million gold. I think people like me that like to grind for a while before going on a shopping spree would benefit from this higher gold limit. Or maybe even open a Killama bank so that we can make deposits for later while carrying less gold on our person. There's so much opportunity for Palea in the future. What changes would you like to see come to the game? How do you feel about the cake changes? Let me know in the comments and until next time, thanks for watching.